everyone, Ryan Murphy here from Guitar Lessons with Ryan, and today we're going to go over Tennessee Whiskey by Chris Stapleton. Super easy song, two chords, let's get right into it. So this one has the capo on the second fret. Now if you don't have a capo, you can play this song as well with an A chord and a B minor chord, bar form or not. It's up to you. But we're going to go over the song with the capo today. It starts on a G chord, and it goes to an A minor chord, and that is basically it. There's a little turnaround part that throws in a C chord. You can use a C slash G for that one, and that's pretty much it. Now this one's in 6-8 time. It's at about 50 beats per minute, so you can set your metronome. And you can just do all downstrokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, just to get started. Now, when you have your metronome, you can tap on beats one and four. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, like so. Okay, so the introduction part uh, starts on a G chord. And you go one, two, three, four, five, six, G, two, three, four, five, six, A minor. 4, 5, 6, A minor, 4, 5, 6, A minor, 4, 5, 6, A minor, 4, 5, 6, G, C, G. Now let's go over the rhythm that you can play. It's an optional rhythm if you want to make it sound a little bit more like the recording. It's just down, up, down, down, up, down. One, a three, four, a six. And the strumming pattern for that is just down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay, so that is the introduction part. G for two bars, A minor for two bars, and then G for another two bars with that little turnaround with the C chord. All right, moving on to the verse part. Uh, the verse is basically the exact same thing as the introduction that we just played, but we play it two times. All right, so let's try that out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, A minor. So the chorus part, believe it or not, is the exact same thing as the verse part. Can't get much easier. So basically you play G chord for two bars, A minor for four, G, C slash G, to a G chord for the little turnaround, and repeat G for two bars, A minor for four, little turnaround with the G, C slash G, G. Done. Now going on to the second verse, basically play the exact same thing we played for the first verse. However, there's no little fill at the end. So we just hold that G chord out for two bars, and then we're gonna go into the next chorus. And the, uh, the second chorus is the exact same thing as the first. After that, we go to the solo part. This is just like we had in the verse and chorus, exact same thing using the turnarounds. After that, we go into the chorus part. And we play the chorus part twice, and then we end on a G chord. And that's, that's the entire song. So obviously I'm not really showing all the little, uh, little cool little licks and the solo part. This is just intended to get you started on the rhythm guitar part with the basic chords. All right, so that's all we have for today. Um, if you have any questions about this song, leave them in the comments below. 
If you have any um, suggestions, leave those as well. And if you want to hear any other song in a future video, if you want me to teach you a song that, that you've been itching to play for a while, leave that as well. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.